Hello there and welcome to the Other Voices video blog with me, Michelle Ryan. I'll be taking you all around Dingle over the next four days and letting you know everything that's happening with Other Voices that is kicking off here in Dingle and absolutely loads going on. So I'll be catching up with everyone behind the scenes with the crew, with the bands, with the locals and seeing what's going on. A few little surprises thrown in along the way, but mainly just having a bit of fun and having a laugh with everyone. So to kick things off, I don't know about you, but I was pretty curious to see how the church is looking at the moment. A little bit like this, actually. Uh, it's uh, in the works, so a lot of gear, a lot of gear everywhere, really. And I've been told, though, by a good source that this is not how it's going to look uh, come showtime on Saturday night. So gear everywhere, kettle there, don't know what that is. Along the way, I find this uh, lovely lady who seems to be quite creative there, uh, tackling a water bottle with a knife. That's Caroline, the set designer. So I asked her about her creation. There's one line of a lyric from 30 artists that have played here over the last 10 years and I just selected randomly, went through the lyrics and picked ones that were kind of sweethearty and then I was limited to what I could actually put onto a heart so and then it did it have a resonance, did it kind of click with me, did it just kind of hit me and that's they're the ones I chose. Interference was one of the first bands I played here and that's I wouldn't trade it for gold some of the lines when you actually listen to them or look at them, they're gorgeous. Amy, who was a treasure, is for you I was a flame. And that was a stunning night. It's amazing, once the lights go on, actually you have to come back because it completely transforms everything. This is great to be here. Um, and this year it will be more um, dramatic. Actually, what will happen is the church will pop more even though it's black. The windows will be, the architecture of the room will be a bit more vibrant. Some more of Caroline's fantastic work there, but most importantly, I got the bottle open. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Moving on now, I'm going to take you to McCarthy's, which is also the venue for many of the music trail gigs that are happening throughout Other Voices, as well as the venue for Imro's Other Room, which is what you're getting a glimpse of right now as everybody sets up. It's going to be filming going on today as uh, some bands perform, which will be aired on TV throughout the series. And if we just creep out here for a little glimpse. I <laughs> so that's part of the band walking on cars doing a quick little practice there in that little alleyway and straight into the sound check so, and that's Chloe the sound lady um, to use her technical title and they're practicing away and everybody really really busy at this point needing to get everything right before they actually go to shoot it and film it and these guys as well what they're doing is actually timing all the shots on their little wheelie track which I believe again is the technical term timing that shot up down looks good, says Chloe. Hey, are you happy to go again? Director, give him the go ahead. And now it's time for my favourite part, which is the clapperboard, which is actually what it's called. Okay, guys. And we're off. Moving on now to Dick Max Pub, another famous Dingle pub and a uh, really, really interesting one. You should definitely stick the head in and have a look if you are around. And uh, what I'm going to be doing over this weekend is posing a little challenge to some of the barmen around Dingle called the Lovely Dingle Barman Competition. Uh, they have no idea, of course, what it is. This place used to be a general store, hence all those wellies, by the way, and also never going to be short of a drink. The man in question is going to be Adam, which is uh, Dick Max Barman, and he's going to be competing. Yeah, my name is Adam. I'm working on Dick Max. Good man, Adam. So here we are. We've got three criteria that the barmen don't actually know about. All I'm going to do is order the point. It's a serious business now. So one is the ease of the pouring. Two is the banter, which I think is uh, quite important. You know, answering questions like, busy tonight, are you? The likes of that. And then number three in the final criteria will be the grace of exchange. So how he hands over the pint to me and how he takes my money, basically. So here we go. Let's get started with Adam. Can I uh, please get a pint of Guinness there, Adam? You can, of course. That was a nice, nice friendly uh, exchange there. Nice elbow action, very straight, very steady. Good grip on the glass as well. Hasn't let go of that handle as well. Very good. Inspecting a bit crowded. You can't see, but he's got his eyes very oh, much yeah, on that glass, which I, uh, I appreciate. 
hand it over nicely. Have you been here every uh I like the year on the bar. Uh, yeah, last couple of years, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's always good to crack around the town. Could have said a bit more than that. that. And how long have you been Light on the here? banter. I'm only here a year now in Dick Max. Is that all? Yeah. All right, fresh face soon. Yeah. Um, how much is that so He's a nice one. 380, fan, please. Only. 380. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you are. Nice and polite. That was very good. I'm going to change the pint. Looks, looks good as well from what I know of pints of Guinness. Hand over the money. Okay, nice exchange. I am. Ability to have the banter with other people while serving me is extra points for this, I think. Also extra points for the Abercrombie hoodie. Cool, Adam. Thanks very much. No He's doing well now, Adam. Okay. Finishing that up nicely. So all in all, I think Adam has scored quite well. Adam, the barman, we'll see how he fares out compared to the others coming up in the next few days. I'm sure you are on the edge of your seat. Thanks for that, Adam. Now you may recognise these guys, you saw them just a little while ago. This is local band, Walking On Cars, who are one of the performers in Imro's Other Room as part of Other Voices this weekend. I'm Zaracha and I play keys. I'm Dan, I play lead guitar. Paul, I play the bass. I'm Evan, I'm the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Those awkward moments where I wasn't quite part of that joke. Laughed along anyway though, and then had to awkwardly ask him to do it again. Here we go. I'm Evan, I'm the drummer. I am Pally vocals. So being the locals of other voices, who best to show us all the cool places to hang out? We all used to have different bands down here when we were younger. All the secret hideouts and haunts and the cool places to hang out. I figured these guys would be the guys to show me. Do you have the code, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the Era 51 this is jamming room. Yeah. Myself, Dan and Evan were in the band and we used to rehearse them there every day. From when we were around 14 <laughs> until we were around. Trying to be the next Westlife didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't quite work out. Yeah. And then uh, Pat oh, and sorry. a couple of more guys were in this shed over here, so we used to be competing to see who could be the loudest. Is that like the the kind of lesser shed? Yeah. By the looks of it, yeah. No, no, I, I wouldn't say that. Do you, <laughs> do you work your way up to this shed here? Or? Yeah, we just used to rehearse here all the time, and cool. it's kind of where it all started for us musically, I guess. And upsetting them upsetting people, upsetting our neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> what better way to see Dingle than to jump in a van with a load of strange men? So here I go. This is going to be the drive-by tour of Dingle. Uh, the house that we live sometimes and rehearse in. Oh, very good. Yeah, the band house. It's a bit we of can't, a mess now, we so. can't tell you its location because it's so oh, yeah, oh, yeah, unreal. Right. It's our local taxi driver there spinning us around. Possibly groupie. She's a nice van. Where are you taking me? Uh, this is uh, the hill. Oh, that's right, the famous Hill of Dingle, I believe it's called. Just coming up here. This is our house. We've been rehearsing here solid for a few days, so there is a little bit of a mess. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, we were here for like five days solid for four or five hours a night just working on our song for other voices because we wanted to get it. Walking on cars, looking very cool there. Back in the van and this very special tour of Dingle continues. This is the bridge. After the nightclub, everybody hangs here until they find a party. Or a partner. That's a late bar. <laughs> the small bridge. Uh, Up here on the left, if there's an ATM, that's where we take out money from. <laughs> <laughs> you can just slow down as we pass. No, I'm going to Oh, here's the church. Film crew. This is where, well, it's church. This is where it's and all happens. Yeah. Yeah. These Foxy Johns is coming up here. It's a hardware and a pub. What do you next? Uh, we're going to Adams. This is where I work. It's a restaurant on Main Street. Oh. So yeah, I work there as a, a waitress. It's my my day job. I'll go for the beef lasagna. Lasagna. Good choice. BLT. Yeah. Good choice. Oh. <laughs> That's all we've time for today. Thanks again to Walking on Cars for that very comprehensive tour of Dingle. Uh, the Dingle Hill was probably the highlight for me. And uh, there's lots more to catch tomorrow. Absolutely loads going on around the weekend here at Other Voices in Dingle. So try and get as much as I can and bring it all to you as fast as I can as well. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, on our YouTube page, and also on Twitter. It's at Other Voices Vlog. And I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs>